Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Cooking with Clifton. We're off the script again, ladies and gentlemen, but let me tell you something. We're doing another cooking video. Surprise to no one, right? This is going to be a, an, an, an orange chicken. This is the orange chicken episode, guys, so I'm going to teach you how to turn this little orange into into chicken. Orange-flavored chicken, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's the joke. All right, and to start off, we're going to go ahead and skin and debone two pounds of chicken thighs. You could just go ahead and get two pounds of uh, bone-out, skinless chicken thighs. I opted not to do that because I figured suffering was on the menu today, and we'd just be going through this. It's not even that bad, honestly. It's just a little gross. And as for our batter, what we're going to do is add a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of white pepper, or just regular pepper, now, I used a cup of cornstarch. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys, you got to use half a cup of cornstarch, all right? Trust me. This got a little tricky, a little dicey because my batter ended up being too thick. It made for a rough time. All right. And then after, you're going to add three cups of flour to the bowl, then two tablespoons of oil, and then you're going to stir to combine. I used a whisk. You can use whatever you got on hand, a fork, a spoon, your hand, you know, wh whatever, man. I'm not going to tell anyone if you use your hand. Don't. All right, then go ahead and crack an egg for me and uh, and put it in the batter. You're going to add, what's that about, a cup and a half of water. And then you're going to stir that in. And yeah, like, like I said, check it out. It looks a little doughy. I had to actually add like a little more water or a lot more water to make this. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm adding more water to make it less doughy. The recipe calls for a, pa a pancake batter-like consistency. I, I did not achieve that with a cup of uh, cornstarch, so you use less cornstarch. All right, trust me, I would never steer you wrong. And then go ahead and deposit all that skinned, boned-out chicken chicken thigh. Put it put it in your batter. Then you're gonna want to stir to combine. Make sure each and every individual piece is coated with batter. All right, you 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 want to get that crispiness everywhere. All right, then you cover it with plastic wrap, or if you don't have some, just substitute it for a towel. Toss that in the fridge while we get our sauce ready. And speaking of sauce, go ahead and add some some uh, neutral oil to the bottom of your pan. All right, just just make sure it covers the bottom. We don't want anything sticking. All right. I used about a I used about a tablespoon of oil here. And while that's going, go ahead and get a pot of oil boiling. Well, not boiling, but you know you want it, you want it to reach a boiling temperature. You want it to be boiling hot. I'm talking like 350 degrees, chat. And all as always, be careful when you're boiling stuff or frying stuff at home, because uh, you know, you know, you don't you don't want that to mess up your flow. And by your flow, I mean your house. Then add a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes, a tablespoon of garlic, minced, a half a teaspoon of ginger, and you're gonna want to get that all nice and simmery. Once it gets aromatic, after about 30 seconds. And you want to stir constantly, all right? That's very important. You don't want anything to stick. If anything sticks, it's going to burn. You're going to taste that in your orange chicken, and you're going to have a bad time, all right, chat? Trust me, you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure you don't have a bad time. All right, once that gets nice and aromatic, we can go ahead and add in our sugar and brown sugar. So I used about a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. And then I know it's going to be weird not having any liquids in there to kind of like absorb the sugar, but trust me, wait a second. You want to kind of just stir it to combine with the oil and your aromatics, and you're just going to let that sit for just a little bit. Or once you finish that up, go ahead and add your orange juice. That's going to be a quarter cup of orange juice. I, I use this from a carton. If you want to be bougie and squeeze your own oranges, that's completely fine, but it's, you're not going to taste the difference, right? Orange juice is orange juice at the end of the day. And then you're going to want to whisk this constantly, all right? You want to make sure all the sugar particles are dissolved. Nobody likes crunchy sugar particles in their orange chicken. That's, that's, that's not the selling point. And once those are combined, the next things we're going to add are our vinegar and our soy sauce. For the vinegar, I used a quarter cup of just your basic regular white distilled vinegar, just the stuff you get in like the big old containers, and then two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I know what you're thinking. This isn't what orange chicken sauce looks like, to which I would respond with, yeah, it's, it's not, not yet. So in order to get that sort of syrupy consistency that, you know, is going to stick to the chicken instead of just, you know, being absorbed into the chicken, we're going to need to thicken the sauce up. We do that by adding two tablespoons of water to a separate bowl along with two tablespoons of cornstarch and mixing that up. We call that a cornstarch slurry. That's going to thicken up our, our, our sauce real good. 
you're going to want to stir that to combine almost immediately. You don't want to let it sit for too long because there's always the possibility that it gets clumpy. All right. Nobody likes clumpy orange chicken. All right. And now we can just let that sit and simmer. We're going to turn the heat on medium low just to make sure it doesn't like burn. But we need it to start bubbling because once you see it starts to bubble, that means the water is sort of escaping as steam, leaving us with a thicker, more syrupy uh, sauce. All right, we're going for this sort of texture. I know it might look a little runny, but as it cools, it's going to kind of tighten up. The sauce is going to tighten up and kind of congeal almost. So we want to leave it a little runny just so, you know, once our chicken is finished frying, it's going to be perfect. And speaking of frying, we're going to take the chicken... And we're going to fry our chicken in batches because if we fried everything at once, it's going to be crowded. Not everything's going to cook evenly. And more importantly, the oil is going to cool down. So we want to avoid that by just, just waiting. All right. And after a few minutes, I'm going to say about maybe five minutes. If you, if you want to be safe, go for five minutes. But what I did is I checked the temperature consistently. I have a little... A little probe thermometer so what I did was I kind of fished one out and I kind of you know I kind of I kind of checked the temperature and what we're aiming for is 165 degrees Fahrenheit so if you pull your chicken out and you know measure you, 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 you take the temperature and it's 165 then you're and like I said once the temp or once the chicken reaches 165 internal temperature we're gonna want to shake off as much of that oil as possible and dump it in the sauce and then once you've added all your chicken to the sauce, stir to combine and, uh, you know, make sure each individual piece is covered with that orange chickeny delicious goodness. All right. No piece left behind. All right. And then for plating, what I did here was, uh, well, I walked away. <laughs> I walked away first. Where did you, where'd you go? All right. He's taking the bowl with him. No, nope, no. Okay. So what I did was I did a little, little fancy rice here. It's just some plain old white rice. I made white rice on the channel already. So if you know how to make that, you know, if, if you don't actually, I would refer you to my, uh, fried rice video, the description for, or the, uh, link to that's going to be in the description down below. And guess what guys, you, you know what you just did? Do you know what you just did? You just made some bomb ass orange chicken.